Aha. We run two flares in this deck. <laughs> we run two flares, chat. Flare, flare, flare. I'm looking for secret keepers and flares. I found none of them. Or spellstone. When I collapse. I die. The team Tespa Hearthstone Collegiate Championship Fall Stage is set with $48,000 in scholarship prizings. God, that's so terrible. The tournament's going on has been going on for like six months, and the prize pool is like 50k. <laughs> it's like, uh... Don't we drop in Frosty Peak tonight? <laughs> Probably gonna give me a sizable minion. Nice. I haven't played Fortnite in like a month. Last time I played it, I played like three games and I just quit because I was just utter garbage. Like I couldn't land a shot and I was just making really bad decisions. Coin flanking, so we flanking his flanking, and then we hopefully he doesn't flank our flank. So then we can just maintain flank, right? We flank the flank to enter our flank, so if he has a flank, then we're just gonna get flanked. But ideally we shouldn't get flanked because he already flanked. Alright, nice, no flank. Deadly shoot. He just did a deadly shoot. I don't want him to deadly shoot. I don't like a deadly shoot. Yo, Huffer was the best one there. I dropped sneaky snakes. Let's go well. You there. Come on. Deadly shoot. Collapse. Go well. The eternal hunt has begun. <laughs> Was it explosive? Nice. Actually, it was. Hello, Warshack. Is the new Secret Hunter doing good right now? Is it worth to play this and not Spell Hunter? I think, I mean, this is our first game with this deck, so I don't know. You can kind of go either way. <clears throat> I've never played I like this. I don't even have uh, subject nine Subject nine should be in this deck, but it's not I don't want this to be um, a freezing, so I'm gonna wait on this. What up, Niner? Yo, nice no huffer. That actually hurts me really bad. <sighs> hey, I got a lot to say to you. I'm an idiot. I needed to, um, 
Actually, no, I couldn't have killed Command at first. It's fine. What up, Niner? What up, what up, what up? Nothing compares to evening oh, alone. Yeah. That's really good. Sneaky snakes! Sneaky snakes! Sneaky, sneaky snakes, sneaky snakes. Them sneaky, sneaky snakes. Yo, now I got a 3 4 eagle horn bow. It's about to. Dude, this thing's about to. Yay, yay, the nay, nay. It compares to a quiet evening alone. What does the 2-4 guy do? He says if you have a secret, play another secret from your deck. <sighs> Yay! Oh, never mind. Wouldn't have mattered. Well, how you to play? What brought you to play Hunter? Oh, it's just really good right now. We're going for stars today. I got so excited. I wonder why he would hit this. This thing. Oh, if I play this, then I can't play this. Do you need Zildjian for this deck? Uh, no, but he's really, really good. That's so impressive. There's no to go.
Getting close, getting to the nitty gritty. Need to find any charge minion or my other uh, Pokemon. Or Zul'jin. Looks like he got a pretty good minion. He hovered over it. Heard that. I played these cards last season. Felt good. Missing something. Zul'jin makes it really good. Yeah, Zul'jin is, makes the deck very, very solid. Makes the deck very, very solid. English. If I play this and that's a freezing shot, I get absolutely obliterated. Oh. This guy's really good, though. I, how many freezings has he had? I still have a flare. This is what? Rat Trap and Explosive? I don't think he's playing two Crow cards this turn. If, if I don't draw my Flare, I'm still going to go in with the Zombiest. Hopefully it's like maybe like a snake and then it'll actually die the cleave. It's a really good minion placement. Wow, he actually just gave me the rat. Alright, so that just should be lethal here. I can't believe he gave me the rat. Hey, oh yeah. Yeah, if your health is at one, you can play the new Paladin card and put your health to one, and then you can have uh, turn two, 16 16 on board. It may not be the reason they moved him. Like, you know, they removed Mountain Giant or Molten Giant. Yeah, Molten Giant to Wild, like, you know, forever ago. That's not, that's not new news. That's old news. But yeah, that, that would have been a combination of cards that would have been not very healthy for the game. Yeah, we actually drew Secret Keepers this game. Woohoo! You gotta love also playing against Hunters. I, I teched in double Flare. There's no way I'm, I'm gonna... I'm, I, there's no way I cannot play Flare in this deck. It's too UC. It's too UC. Now the thing is, if I play my Secret Keeper and he plays a Secret, it buffs my Secret Keeper. <laughs> That's what you like to see if you're a Shaq fan right there. Hitting him with the yeah. Yo, let's top deck a secret. Yo, I dare you to play a secret. You won't play a secret. You won't play a secret. You what, mate? And she says, oh, you give my guy buff. You make him nice, strong, big boy. You make him nice, strong, big boy. All right, so if this is Wandering Monster, we actually want to coin our Eagle Horn Bow and attack with that. If this is Freezing Shot, we actually want to attack with her. So what do we think? Is a Freezing Shot or a Wandering Monster? Hmm. Or do I just hold back? I don't do anything. I think it's Wandering. All right, let's see if it's Wandering. Nope. Freezing. It is Freezing. Oh, it's explosive. It's exclusive. It's not exclusive, dude. It's exclusive. It's all right. It was freezing. <laughs> he juked me. What a juke. What a juke, man. Oh, man, that was good. That was good. I like this guy. Pedro Santantioso. This guy knows what's up, baby.
Got to turn up the bass a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Get that little wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. What you doing about that jiggle jiggle? Let's upgrade our spell stone again. Hopefully we're not behind the wheel. If he spell stones first, I'm very sad. I don't like when my bone and spell stones first. Jibated. I mean, he made a good play. It was 100% a, it was an outplay. Because if I would have known it was a freezing, I would have never attacked the Secret Keeper. I would have just keep, I would have kept letting her get buffed and eventually attacked. Made her him use like a Hunter's Mark on her or something. It's they seem to fit in. All right, this guy's hand must be like dog shit. He might just concede when this happens. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Be like the cool kids. Cool kids, they seem to fit in. We also have double kill command. I mean, that's just crazy. Would you like more Rob spell and secret hunter? I don't like any hunter deck. I don't like any hunter deck at all. <clears throat> I don't like the way that you basically just ignore everything your opponent. It's play. It's playing a single player game. I'm playing a game, and if my opponent can't deal with it, then they lose. Happy days, baby. The dark days are always here. I'll never tell. I'll never tell. But I can't just like not play decks. Like I still have to make videos on decks, even if I don't like them. This cost me views, man. I gotta play with all the kids are playing. If I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna add my own flair to it. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> oh god, he got Huffer. It's online. It's online. Days are always in the dark. Yo, what up, Jay Evolved? Oh, yo, that's Evolved. Did we play you earlier? Are you the one that we played earlier, Evolved? Appreciate the uh, subscribe, man. Appreciate, appreciate. Ooh, Dutty. We always keep almost equal horn bow. Yeah, you did. Awesome. You were the Shutter Shaman. I know you. Nah, I appreciate the sub though, man. And that's that's not even a prime sub. That's a real deal sub right there. That's that that is you're cashing in sub. I appreciate it. Greatly appreciato. Actually hit rank three today with heal pally. It's super fun. That is definitely a true. That is definitely true. Blood and Ooh, he's playing a deck I've got brewing at the moment. To survive. The days are all over. Yeah, I'm brewing up some uh, mid-range pirate uh, rogue right now. I just have to... I'm in the middle of still dusting my old cards. So I can have enough cash money to do it. Like, I like the control paladin a lot. The problem is I just... It, I gotta figure out what it's good against, or what I need to add to it to make it, you know what I mean, good against stuff. Because at the moment, it's just really not that great. Which do you prefer, Spell Hunter or Secret Hunter? Why? That's like the fifth time someone's asked me that in the past like 10 minutes. I don't I don't really have a preference. To, the Hunter's kind of just like a Hunter. Ooh, that worked out. Oh my god, that's so good. That's That was so amazing. Wow. 
That was solid. Wow. I did I did not I did not think about him having the weapon. Man, if I would have had a Huffer or Misha, it wouldn't have happened. But because I had Leok, that piece of shit. So, explosives to trigger first and wanderings to trigger now as well. And the wandering monster should actually live. <clears throat> so, give me something juicy. Alright, 3-5 with taunt. Cashing in, boys. That is juicy. And I get three charges with my bow. I could have played the snake trap, but I, weaving in damage right now is the most important thing. If he has a deck hand, I get kind of run over, but not much I can do. I think uh, no spell. Are no minion hunter guys and the um the secret hunter i mean they're kind of like hand in hand right they basically do exactly the same thing i mean one just runs slightly more secrets and no to my side and rock delar and the other one plays like you know we play a mass contender and secret keepers like the differences of the deck aren't very um there's not a lot of differences there it's like maligo's druid and you know and never mind, that's probably not a good example. <sighs> what are two decks that are like exactly the same? It's like four card difference. <laughs> I don't know. I can't think of one off the top of my head. Like Control Mage and Big Spell Mage. It's like the same exact deck, minus like four cards. Shutter and Tempo Shutter. That is true. The wind condition, though, is a lot different. I wonder why he just like stopped playing. But you got some like secret play, man. <clears throat> what up, Shock? Also, this deck should be running Subject 9, guys. I don't have Subject 9, so I'm actually hurting myself by not playing that card. For those of you who are wondering where the fuck my subject line is. <laughs> Oof. That vi those violin songs. Let's turn up the bass. We're about to get the beat real soon, chat. <laughs> there it is. That hot fire. I'm just kidding. <sighs> That's going to be a big yikes for me. That completely shut me down. What is your favorite deck to climb so far into the expansion? Um, we had a fun time with Discard Warlock. We had a pretty good time with that. Keep weaving in those hero powers. The Moss Contender. What do you put down? A freezing? Fuck. I mean, it's not that bad, but. Ooh, he's gonna be so mad! Oh, he didn't attack with it? Oh, you little corn roll. That makes a difference in between a good player and a bad player guys by the way is when to know like when to attack and when not to uh throw down the base offer yes. oh, yeah. 
lackey. It's interesting. I was thinking I probably should have played Explosive Trap there. Oh, that was really good. Because now the Lackey, when he returns to his hand, it's actually going to die. That was really smart. This guy's really good. <clears throat> this guy is definitely a very solid player. Yikes, he has two of them. Man, that puts me in such a not cool spot. If he also has Gul'dan, I lose. These guys are going to go to one. <clears throat> Doomguard. It was better, better to attack all the minions into the walkers, guys. Because if I go attack into a walker with one weapon into one, then it's one, two, three. And it just makes him have a better defile. Dan. Damn. Summon all void walkers? There's a chance it does summon all void walkers, but probably not. Wow, two daddies. Oh, GG. This guy took like a really big risk for no reason. Like, remember that turn? Remember last turn where he played, um, he played the weapon? And then he played the giant when he could have just played Gul'dan and he would have summoned two void daddies. Like, if we would have just had a kill command, we would have won. So, it's weird that he would have taken, he took like a huge risk that turn to just play an 8-8 and to play the weapon to get out the Doom Guard for free rather than literally just playing Gul'dan and winning the turn before. So, I don't know what was up with that. Like, that was like a, that was like a weird, like, he was playing, he, he played really good or really well. And then all of a sudden, you like took this big risk for no other reason than like, oh, I know he doesn't have kill command. 